A very good morning to doctor and my fellow friends. My name is Kasturi Dayalan and my group members are Ng Tianzer and Kashmira Sargunet. The title of the journal that we're going to present today is Propionic Bacterium Prudentia Thrives in Microarabic Condition by Complete Oxidation of Lactate to Carbon Dioxide. So for the problem statement, the problem statement of our study is to show the increased biomass formation of four species of food grade propionic acid bacteria when they're exposed to oxygen, they're implicating functional respiratory system. So these are the content that we're going to talk in our presentation today. So let me go through with what is our aim. The aim of our study is to find the biomass formation and the metabolite production of four species of food grade PAB strands when it exposed to various level of oxygen. So as you can see, these are the four species of PAB we use in this study. The 16 strands of propionic acid bacteria used for the screening are classified from these four species. But the commonly used dairy isolated propionic bacterium prudentia was selected for an in-deep study of its response to oxygen. Okay, let me start with our introduction. Let me introduce what is propionic acid bacteria. Propionic acid bacteria are combined into the family of propionic bacteria K, genus bacter uh, propionic bacterium. Propionic bacteria genus are divided into two main groups based on their habitat, which is classical and skin. And the skin is also known as cutaneous. Uh, propionic acid bacteria is actually a gram-positive bacteria, which means they are non-motile and do not produce bacterial spores. And they are also catalase positive. They are also recognized as anaerobic or relatively anaerobic bacteria. As we know, PAB are very small and they take the form of spherical shape, which is cocci, under anaerobic condition, while in the presence of oxygen, they demonstrate in club shape. So the optimal pH of propionic acid bacteria oxalated around 7, around pH 7. As we all know, propionic bacteria species are mesophiles. However, they are resistant to much higher temperature because they can survive up to 20 seconds at 70 degrees Celsius. And their distinct feature are formation of propionic acid as a consequence of propionic acid fermentation dependent on the coenzyme B12 and the high content of GC. GC stands for guanine cytosine and they have almost 65 to 75% of this GC content. And last but not least, propionic acid bacteria can be isolated from soil, herbaceous plants and the digestive tracts of ruminants. So that's all from me. Now I will pass the floor to my friend. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Sun Tianzhe. So let me continue with the methodologies. In this study, the main methodology which is proteome analysis. After the 16 strand of proteomic acid bacteria are undergo screening, the proteome analysis method will be used to analyze the particular strength. Proteome analysis is revealed that the abundance of protein involved in the aerobic and anaerobic electron transport change and major metabolic pathway did not significantly differ between anaerobic and microaerobic conditions. Proteomic is used to detect protein expression pattern at a given time in response to a specific stimulus, but also to determine the functional proteins network that exists at the level of the cell tissues or whole organism. Furthermore, let me to do the further explanation of the propion analysis. In this experiment, they use 16 propion bacteria case species strains which can classify into 4 species of food grade propionic acid bacteria, which is 3 acid propion bacterium acid propionic chi, 5 acid propion bacterium jensenai, 2 acid propion bacterium turni, and 6 propion bacterium federanchi, which isolate from different dairy sources. 
All these strings were initially uh, cultivated using the East extract lactate medium, which is YEL, containing L lactic acid triptans, uh, East extract, and potassium dihydrogen phosphate. The pH was adjusted to 7 by using 5 mol of sodium hydroxide to auto caving at 121 degrees Celsius for 50 minutes. The strains were stored in 30% of glycerol carbide at 80 degrees Celsius. In this study, we screened the response to various levels of oxygen of 16 uh, propionic acid bacteria strain in three different conditions, which is aerobic shaking, aerobic static, and anaerobic. The first process of the proteoanalysis, which is cultured condition initial screening. The strain was shred from negative 80 degrees Celsius stock on its extract lactate medium plate. It incubate for 7 days at street anaerobic condition using anaerobic gas and an oxygen catalyzed at 30 degrees Celsius in anaerobic jar. For aerobic incubation, single colonies were inoculate in 10 ml is extract lactate medium in 100 ml shake flask and incubate at 30 degrees Celsius static and shaking for 5 days. For anaerobic incubation, single colonies were inoculate in 10 ml is extract lactate medium in 50 ml junior tube anaerobic Sample were incubated at 30 degrees Celsius for 5 days in anaerobic jar at straight anaerobic condition using anaerobic gas. And oxygen catalyzed at 30 degrees Celsius in anaerobic jar. The optical density was measured at 600 nanometers. Besides that, long-term batch cultivation are used to explore how evolutionary process of propionic acid bacteria strain work in heterogeneous environment where cell experience stirring speed at 300 revolution per minute, the temperature that constant at 30 degrees Celsius and the pH was controlled at pH 7. After the long-term batch cultivations, it will undergo the process of biomass quantifications. Biomass was quantified by measuring the cell dry weight concentrations. The weight sample were passed through the pre-weight membrane filter with a pore size of 0.2 micrometer by a vacuum filtration unit. The filter will dry and weight to determine the cell dry weight concentration in culture. Moreover, it will undergo the analysis of extracellular metabolite. Lactate, acetate, and propionate were qualified by high performance liquid chromatography. Lastly, the proteome analysis, which is the proteomic samples preparation and analysis, is to determine the protein similarity among samples and review protein expression pattern across the samples, and is clustered the samples by using the hierarchical clustering and k-means partitioning. Hi doctor, I'm Kasturi here. Let me continue with the result. So we can see there are two graphs here. Graph A represents biomass production, while graph B represents acetate production for four species of propionic acid bacteria of cells growing in three different conditions. So from each data point, it represents the average of biological duplicates for each individual strands. So from this graph, there is a significant difference between the optical density value uh, found between anaerobic and aerobic conditions. So from this graph, we can conclude that the availability of oxygen can enhance the biomass formation in static condition for all strands, although the strand to strand uh, variation are enlarged. But for the high oxygen level in aerobic shaken condition, the biomass production uh, become more lesser when compared to anaerobic condition. So, uh, there are several strands that were able to produce similar or higher biomass compared to anaerobic condition and thus are more tolerant to higher oxygen level. That's all from me. Thank you. Overall idea of this experiment is uh, the, this bacteria, are they trying well in microanaerobic condition? So if they try well, what will happen? What is the product of this uh, process? They undergo, uh, undergo. So, for this one, let me explain to you. So, here we can see 
two different conditions, which is anaerobic and microaerobic. And then here you can see concentration of organic acid, timing days, and then compound that which we are focusing on. Green for lactate, red for acetate, while blue for propionate. So let me see here. As you can see from here in group phase one, there is a concentration of lactate slowly depleted. So as you can see from here, let me tell you in uh, in both condition, whether it's micro uh, microarabic or anaerobic, the lactate concentration is depleted. So it it can be uh, it can be sure that at this phase, lactate consumption phase has been taken place. So focusing on microarabic condition, the maximum there will be uh, there is a higher maximum growth rate and by and biomass achieved in lactate consumption phase, which is let me explain to you more when we going on uh, when when I show you the proteomics data that we get from. So moving on to the anaerobic uh, fermentation of lactate, it shows that there is average yield of cell driving compared to microaerobic conditions. So we can summarize that the production of propionate in microaerobic condition implies that the flux through the electron transport chain is limited or even stoichiometrically constrained by the availability of oxygen causing the propionic production as the main electron sink so in the same time the uh, let me tell you lactate acts as in this phase lactate act as the carbon source so what happened to the carbon source when it's depleted so as you can see from here let me move on to the next part when it uh, when the lactate depleted there is that is pro uh, production of acetate and propionate, which slowly increases as you can see from these two charts. So, at this growth phase two, when the lactate is depleted, there will be a, uh, there is an initiation of propionate consumption phase, as you can see from here. The concentration of prom propionate is slowly depleted, so indicating there is a consumption of propionate is going on there. So, a switch from propionate production and to consumption can be observed here from anaerobic to aerobic condition by this bacteria. So the E. coli switched the production of dissemination of secreted acetate, which is also known uh, which is also known as acetic switch. When its preferred substrate it becomes limiting and electron transport chain is possible. So the name of this acetic switch uh, which is in good phase three acetic switch acetic switch can be derived from production to consumption of propionate when lactate is depleted in presence of electron acceptor in P. fruderen Twechi, the propionate switch. So let's we move on to the third phase. So as I tell you earlier, at this growth phase 3, there is acetic consumption phase is going on. So the, uh, there is no other, in this phase, there is no other organic acid is detected. So it from here it shows that there is a complete oxidation of of uh, of acidic to carbon dioxide is happened and then another thing that i would like to say that the acidic switch occurs as the cells deplete in their environment of acidic producing carbon sources and begin to rely on their ability so as you can see from here i want you guys to focus on the maximum growth rate of lactic consumption phase and anaerobic and uh, lactate consumption phase in anaerobic condition. So, as I told you earlier, there is a average amount, uh, average yield of lactate consumption phase in anaerobic, which it is proven here. And microaerobic condition, there is a higher yield, yield when it compared to other phases, including anaerobic condition. That's all for me. Thank you. Hi friends, let me continue with the discussion. As I mentioned earlier, in this study, we used 16 propionic acid bacteria strands to screen at various levels of oxygen. So the three conditions that I mentioned earlier is aerobic shaking, aerobic static, and anaerobic condition. So my friend will continue with further discussion. Thank you. Let me to continue the discussion about this figure that show 
the metabolism of the lactate in the propionic bacterium ferrandenchai in microaerobic conditions. Undissociated acids can be transported through the passive diffusions that the figure show the closed arrow across the membranes. Dissociated acid have to be transported by transporter that the figure show the dash arrow with the closed circles. Lactate is a metabolized in three phases, which is a lactate consumption phases, propionic consumption phases, and acetate consumption phases. In the lactate consumption phases, lactate is metabolized to propionic and acetate. In propionic consumption phases, the propionic switch occur and the produced propionic is metabolized to acetate. In acetate consumption phases, the acetate switch occur and acetate is metabolized to carbon dioxide. Several options has been proposed for the production of the acetyl CoA from pyruvate. Either a pyruvate dehydrogenase complex that producing the NADH or pyruvate ferredoxine oxidoreductase that producing the reduced ferredo uh, ferredoxines that catalyze the conversion of the pyruvate to acetyl CoA. Recently, a ferredoxine is act as the base uh, energy conversion system has been suggested in propionate acid bacteria consisting of Fi, uh, fixed ABCX, which oxidize reduced ferredoxines and a uh, chrono by reducing to Na, uh, NAD+. The entire complex fixed a, uh, ABCX could also be reconstituted in our proteomic data. Supporting the possible role of the pyruvate, ferrandoxine oxidoreductase is the synthesis of the acetyl CoA from pyruvate and maintaining the redox balance for anaerobic growth on lactate. A pyruvate oxidase that we can see the black dotted line that producing the acetyl phosphate from pyruvate and phosphate while consuming the oxygens has also been identified in the genome of propionic bacterium ferredenchai, which may function as an energy, yielding oxygen, uh, oxygen tolerance mechanism, and which may explain lower propionate acetate ratios found in microaerobic conditions compared to anaerobic conditions in the pr uh, propion bacterium ferredenchai. Hi, everyone. It's me again. I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna summarize the overall process that my friend explained to you earlier. So, uh, here we have fermentation of lactate oxidative branch and reductive branch, which is with Bergman pattern. For the fermentation, let's say three lactate will oxidize, become pyruvate, and there will be three lactate will be released, and there will be three products. Uh, three pyruvate. The pyruvate. One of the pyruvate will oxidize, become acetate, and then the other two will be uh, stoichiometrically. Other two will be undergo reductive pathway, forming two propionate. So when we balance it out, we will be getting three lactate, three lactate, uh, with two uh, forming two propionate with acetate forming carbon dioxide, water, ATP, and hydrogen ion. As a conclusion, let me uh, show you guys this thing. The fermentation of aspartate during propionate acid fermentation is two lactate with two aspartate with uh, ADP with phosphate forming acetate to succinate, two NH3 with ATP. So, moving on, this is the overall overview of the citric cycle uh, tca cycle in in other words so carbon dioxide this is how it form and then let me move on to the conclusion so as a conclusion pab benefit analytically from aerobic respiration with oxygen as a terminal acceptor there is a low level of oxygen supply which deploys the fermentation fermentative behavior on lactate via wood workman cycle. It is to oxidize this fermentation product uh, uh, 
pro products propionic and acetic uh, in the same time it pointing out to an extension of its metabolic rep repertory the whole body of item which are regularly performed production to con uh, there is a production to consumption of propionate which is also known as propionate switch to acetic switch as it described in e column that's all hi doctor and my fellow friends i'm kasumi here let me summarize briefly what we have looked at so in this study, we have shown increased biomass formation of four species of food-grade propionic acid bacteria when they're exposed to oxygen and implicating functional respiratory system. So when using an optimal microarabic condition, propionic bacterium prudentia consume lactate to produce propionate and acetate initially. When lactate was depleted, propionate was oxidized to acetate. So we propose to name the switch from propionate production to consumption in a microarabic condition as a propionate switch. When propionate was depleted, it, as, it is known as acetate switch. So it, uh, it results in complete consumption of acetate and produce carbon dioxide. Both growth rate on lactate and biomass yield increase compared to anaerobic condition. So for the proteomic analysis, for the proteomic analysis, it reveals that the abundance of oxygen involved in aerobic and anaerobic electrotransport chain are not significantly different between anaerobic and microaerobic conditions. So this implicates that propiony bacterium prudentia is prepared for utilizing oxygen when it comes available in anaerobic conditions. So that brings me to the end of our presentation. Thank you, doctor and my fellow friends, for your attention.